Hey everybody, welcome to the Battletech Alpha Strike Battle Report. I'm back with Owen from Game with the Cooler, and we are throwing down the first scenario from the mission book in the Commander's Edition, which is Stand Up Fight. Now, the 300 point engagement with House Steiner, now with some mercenary allies, against Clan Wolf, who will yield all kinds of bat chows at us. I've gotten an education the last week or so on um, all of the like traditional like backgroundy stuff in Battletech from all the people in the comments. It's been great looking things up that I just didn't know about the Battletech universe. Um, and uh, and yeah, just like learning about color schemes and factions and stuff too. So I painted up some new stuff. I painted up, um, this is the Grey Death Legion, a mercenary company that's got lots of novels and stories and histories about them in the Battletech universe um, that is very often affiliated with House Steiner. But it means that if I paint up different house models in the future, if I want, um, I can have them be interchangeable. So it's kind of a cool idea to do a mercenary faction. They could even ally in with the uh, the clan stuff if I want to. If they, they pay well enough, they'll fight for anybody. Um, and then I painted up some more clan wolf stuff, but in like a tan and gray color scheme. It's just a little more battle techy than the parade dress with like the tiger striping and kind of a little less 90s too, which I really like. So uh, straight up fight is just a standard engagement to the death, 12 inch deployment zones, but you strip in the board edge um, and we'll fight back and forth until one side has no active battle max. There is like an optional retreat rule too that we could use. We're gonna try some more variable damage rules. There was a really cool one suggested in the comments for the let's play video we're gonna try where you roll a single pilot dice. It's just more fast dice rolling. A single pilot die, which is like a larger die. And then for each point of damage, you have an individual die that would be the weapon system operating. Again, it's gonna skew the odds once again, but I like the visual and I like the ability to do the dice composition really fast as well. So we're gonna give it a try for this game and see if we like it. We haven't played with it yet, so we don't really know. Um, a few things to know that we got wrong in the Let's Play. Um, skill testing to see if you can go into hull down position. We'll be playing hopefully right this time around. And applying heat value to your difficulty rating for your shots, um, as well as reducing your um, your movement speed. So the more heat you have on you, twice the amount of heat you have is reduced um, from your movement and also uh, increases the target values for any like uh, shooting and attacks that you do. So a few different things that we you know just didn't quite catch in the first pass for the rules that we're playing with today. Uh, so if you notice them and you watch the Let's Play, then that's some of the stuff that'll change. I can't remember too much else. Something Someone tried to explain long-range missiles and why they were good to us. We haven't quite figured it out yet, so if anyone wants to take a stab at explaining why long-range missile systems, I guess if they're indirect fire, they're really good. I, yeah, we can't figure out what makes them better than just shooting with a higher value. Um, so yeah, give us a give us a, a description of what you think the benefits are in the comments, and we'll we'll try and figure that out for our next couple games. So now we'll show you the forces. Uh, we're playing 300 points, like I said again. Show the table, and we'll get this underway. So here's my two lances of battle mechs. Um, host Steiner over here. I've got a just like regular battle line mech. I'm not using any special rules yet for the formations, but we have a rifleman, a warhammer, a wasp, and a phoenix hawk. I've done some skill increases. The Wasp is skill 3, uh, and the Rifleman is skill 3. And then over here, we've got my new Grey Death Legion Lance, um, and it's got some new new models that uh, you won't have seen in the Let's Play, because these are from the Game of Armor Combat um, starter set. This is There's basically only two more of the new plastic battle mechs I don't have. They're from the beginner box, the Griffin and the Wolverine. But... Um, I wanted to paint up a lot of the Inner Sphere stuff as mercenaries because they can just kind of go everywhere and use some of my favorite models. So we have a Catapult on the left there, an Awesome in the back, um, and then we have a Shadowhawk, uh, which is the Dur Durant Carlisle variation that has uh, Combat Intuition, and a Battlemaster, which is the big one in the front there. And this is just a little mercenary, again, like main battle line mech lance to go fight the Clan Wolf guys. Here's Owen Star of uh, Clan Models. So we've got a Shadow Cat there on the left and a Storm Crow. Uh, the big guy in the middle is an Executioner A, and then we got a Dire Wolf, who's got his uh, skill increased to 3, and a Timber Wolf, whose skills has been increased to 3. So lots of armor and firepower here, um, and some mixed variation. I painted up the other clan stuff uh, in the Not Parade dress, so in some sort of like split level camo here with the beige and the gray, and I'm pretty pumped about it. It actually looks really good, I think, on the table. So 2d6 roll to see who is deploying first as an issue for deployment. I got a 5 to your 3. Uh, so I'll deploy on this side, and we'll be back going back and forth after deployment. And we're deployed. We've got my Wasp and Phoenix Hawk flanking the Rifleman and Warhammer in the center with the Catapult. Uh, then the Awesome and Battlemaster on the left flank, and the Shadowhawk on the right. Oh geez, there's the Timberwolf and the Direwolf in the middle, or in the, the left flank for the um, the Clan Forces. In the second in the center we've got the Executioner, and then the Stormcrow, um, and the uh, Shadowcat on the flanks. Round one, so 2d6. Four initiative. Five. All right, well, I have initiative, so you are moving first. Who's going to go first? Let's go, Mr. Timberwolf. Mr. Timberwolf? 
He wasps ten. Eight. And two. The wasp, he can go twelve. So he's gonna go eight. And he's gonna jump actually, might as well, and then four more. One more jumping. It's you. Mr. Direwolf. He's going to hobble his six up. He's on the hill here. Enormous and heavy. Uh, we'll go with the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, he can also jump 12, and he will. Eight, and then four. Skeetioner goes 10, eight, and two, up behind the building. Shadow Hawk going 10. He can go six if he jumps, but he's just going to use the building to cover. So eight, and then two more. Stormcrow is going to walk 12 behind the building. Battlemaster's gonna walk up. He goes eight. And just get in the war. Mm, he'll go up here. Vulture? Mr. Shadowcat? Oh no, Vulture. that was the Storm Crow. Cat. Yeah, this is Storm Crow. I mixed up which guy. He actually walks 16. Oh sweet. Well, keep going then. He's gonna go 12. And he'll just stand behind here. Hey, probably go four more. Go for it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. He's heading up six. Just walking in here. Well, it's gonna walk up eight. Then, so are the Riflemen. Do you think they and remove those missiles or just put new pods on them? I think they just pop the pods off and put new ones on like a hopper. That would yeah. make more sense. There's like just like a big like armory yeah, thing that like cranes them on and cranes them off, yeah. And they send them off to get refilled. To get refilled, yeah. It's, it's a magazine basically is what I'd say. Because like you'd also want it to like, f like pop off when it's done firing to yeah. like take the weight off the mech. Unless to shoot at Unless to shoot at exactly. It makes the profile smaller. So we're done moving. Uh, and we're into the shooting phase for you. Darwolf's gonna go out with his gajillion guns. <laughs> Not this far. No, He's that's gonna true. shoot, let's say, your big fella who's standing there. The awesome? <clears throat> there is a little bit of stuff in the way, though, mm -hmm. so... Give you that extra plus one. Oh, uh, I am TMM, probably one, because I'm a, a sniper. Yeah, just one. So you are uh, damage three, and you're gonna overheat? I'm damage five. Damage five, sorry. And then Skill I'm three. Yeah. And then plus four for long range. No, plus four. Yeah, four yeah. for long range. So seven. So seven. Eight for your TMN. Yep. Nine because nine because there's stuff in the way. Yep. So looking for nines. Big dice is my skill. Skill. Hey, that's a good roll. There you go. Take four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. This one's got eight armor, but pretty good. Yeah, three sixes. It's gonna go. You'll shoot your catapult with not much else to do. Over there, sweet. Doing basically the exact same thing on nines with three dice this time. Take two. Two armor off the catapult. Four of somebody. I the think. executioner's gonna see if he's in brawler range. Can I shoot Mr. Man? No. Not quite. Everyone bombs. We're going back to that guy. Back to the awesome? Yeah. Only four shots for him. Not gonna overheat. Okay. Somewhat obscured, so nines again. Uh, he'll be on tens actually, because he's a less good shot. I rolled a three, therefore I can't hit. Um, can't see anybody. Oh no, that's the shadow cat. Also can't see anyone. Stormcrow. See these guys? And over there? I can't feed through this, can I? Uh, no, but you can definitely see him. And From him. this guy? Oh no, I was talking about the, the oh, Stormcrow. Stormcrow. You okay. said Stormcrow, sorry, not Shadowcat. Cat. Yeah, Wasp. Open. I am TMM 2, plus I jumped for 3. And I'm 3, four, or sorry, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9's on 5 dice. Potato roll. Got 2. 2. 2. Hello. Pow. Opening salvo from you. Well, I might as well shoot back a little bit. Mr. Wasp will shoot. He is three. Uh, he's in medium range as well, so he's only one shot. And you are TMM. Two. Two. Plus one for stuff in the way for three. Plus you jumped for uh, two. Plus I jumped for two, so five. So I need an eight. Ten for the medium range. Nope, this little fella. Same thing. Oh, so I was line of sight, same thing. Four, so he needs an 11. Nope. Two extra dice. I rolled a four on my big die. Uh, it's still a 10, nothing. Mr. Rifleman, long range into your vulture, or sorry, your stormcrow rather. And long skill three, you're in the open this time, because there's nothing in between us. Um, and three goes to seven, and you're two, so eight, nine. That's that range. Uh, it's gonna be one. Same thing, but he's looking for a 10. Yeah, building's in the way. Building's in the way. Oh, sorry, 11, because of my um, skill then. Gotcha Watch once. Cannibal's gonna shoot the Timberwolf. Same thing as need 11, he's skill 3. Oh, that's really 10 actually, because he's skill 3. Because you are 3, he's IMM 2 or 1, or TMM 2 or 1. He's 2. 2? Okay, so 5, 9, 10. Long range. Uh, we got 1. Awesome's going to fire into the Executioner. We got 3 at long range. Uh, he's skill 3, so 2 base, 4 for range is 6, cover is uh, 7. Skill 3 needs 10s. 
Nope, he's going to take a shot into the Vulture. Or Stormcrow, sorry. Uh, he is at this range. Probably two. One, actually. Uh, skill three, though. Same thing. No, looks like the round. Nobody heating up. Nobody taking any extra damage. No critical effects. So we're in round two. Eight. Seven. All right, you get to go move first. Oh. I have the initiative. Crow. He will enter the water. Um... I assume we'll keep this as depth whatever one. Depth one, yeah. So it's it two for one to move. move. Yeah, right. unless you're going to jump. So he'll walk six, but he'll get some cover hanging out in the water. Okay. Being like that. Keep his for me, the catapult can move eight. So he's going to move two into this and then go hull down in it. Five plus the test because I moved through something to reduce my speed. We're going to you. Uh, executioner goes. He walks ten. He's going to go eight. And then two more just behind here. I was gonna go. He's gonna go six, and then two more into the rubble just to get some cover. Timberwolf. Fox ten. I'll go four. So eight, and then two more just to witness this guy. Well, we're gonna go with the battle master. He'll walk to the edge and test to go hull down, but he needs a seven. Doesn't get it, Mister Direwolf. Working his way. <laughs> Living his best life. Awesome, we'll walk up six. Mm. Does he want to go six or are we going to go back and around? He's going to go back and around. Like so. All right. You are... How fast do these guys move? Twelve? Twelve, yep. Okay. And watch the rear. Yeah, I moved sixteen. So we're going to just hang out over there. Or do we hide behind the woods from them? Now nah, we'll go over here. <laughs> okay. Try and hold down there for seven. That's better than just moving. It's not. You get both. Your TM, no, you don't get both. You don't oh, get your TMF, you hold down. Never mind. He runs. Yeah. <laughs> Warrior with the Wasp. He's just going to walk his 12. Head in behind. Head on a fire. Done. So that means we'll do Phoenix Hawk. Same thing. Just going to walk over to here. And then he'll try and hold down on a seven. Does. Fire. We'll walk over. And attempt. Actually, he'll walk in because he can. And attempt to hold down. Five now. Nope. And the right one will walk up and attempt to hold down on a seven. Because you need to spend four to get to it. Uh, we got a six, so no. We're on moving. So you're shooting first because you lost initiative. Who's going first? Well, let's go Mr. Cat into Mr. Guy in the Robo. Okay. Uh, we're looking at Tim seven dice. Into the Shadowhawk. I'm seven dice. Uh, I am... He is Shadowhawk. He's two. Plus yes. cover for three, so eights. Yep. Seven times. One, two, uh, three. One, two, three, yep. Okay, three damage. Back again. Executioner is going to shoot at your catapult. Five dice now. Hitting on, so you're plus two for hull down and cover. Uh, yes, for the catapult, yeah, because he's kind of stationary, so zero plus hull down plus cover is two. And so. then your range is two, so four. So I'm on eights. Uh, That's pretty good. Five. Five. One through the structure, so one critical hit roll. Five. five. No hit. Okay. He's going to heat for one. Okay. He's hanging out in the water. And then he'll shoot this guy in the open. The rifle? Yeah. Sweet. So he's six dice. Uh, fours goes to six, seven, because you're minus your one base. Yeah, one base, yeah. Yeah. So sevens. Oh, that's Ooh, good. looking good. All of them. So six and one crit. Sure as well, so two crits. Six is guns and eleven is something else. <gasps> Eleven's bad. Engine hit and a weapon hit. Next up, Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat. Uh, we'll take pot shots at this guy. Okay, so I am two for being hull down and in cover. I probably actually should have not gone hull down, but I'll get a, a bonus to shoot back at least. Mm -hmm. So you're plus two, so mm -hmm. I'm plus four, so I need um, eights, three shots, <laughs> nothing. At least the Dire Wolf. What's he going to try and Are you really 24 now? Yes, you are, Mr. Catapult. Oh, no. Daka Daka. Eight shots. Hit on sevens. Yep. You're in 24, so plus two. Plus two for my uh, cover and skill, um, three. skill three. So this plus one more dice. Uh -oh. uh, so I'll just reroll the one. Yep. So you got one, two, three more hits on the Catapult. Critical damage. I got one box left. Eight, nine, six. It's three two D six. Four two D six. Three two D six rolls. Oh, you don't want to do this one? 
Well, this isn't, remember, this is an individual 2d6. Oh, I see, I see. That's right. Okay, we've got... Dead. dead. He is a dead. <laughs> and this is all said and done. It's the team, so I've lost the catapult on his debut. Um, hoping we can try and take down the shadow cat. He's a vulture. <laughs> Sorry, I meant the, I meant the uh, storm, storm actually. He's got some damage on him already, doesn't he? Just call him Gandalf. Just call him Gandalf. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, his pilot's Gandalf. Um, so we'll start with the Phoenix Hawk and just work right to left. So Phoenix Hawk has a skill four, uh, three at this range, and you are not held down, but you are obscured. So three goes to four, five, six. Three base on him. Yeah, so I'm four for cover. So four four. for cover, and then five, six for range, so I'm on tens. Well, three dice. He's fast. He is fast. Another rifleman. He's gonna shoot into the vulture, or sorry, the storm crown. Three for the water, uh, plus three, so sixes. Oh, another rifleman. Do I want to overheat? I can, because it's medium range. Mean, I'm almost dead, so I might as well. You mean eights, right? I'm three base. And then three you're... for me moving in cover, and then range. So three plus three plus one plus two? No, three. Three plus two, that's right. Sorry, you're not three base. I thought you were telling uh, me your, your, your oh, TMM was three. You could. I'm not, no. Okay. <laughs> I was on eights, yeah. We're eight for extra die, because I'm medium range. So four dice. Sweet. Here we go. Oh, good roll. Uh, that's pretty good. Three. So that's going to be three damage. We're the same thing, except he'll be on nines, because he's only skill four. And he has four dice. Looking for nines. Uh, there's one. The armor. The catapult is going to shoot into the executioner. Swan song, so he's skill three. Uh, and then you are TMM two, plus obscured for three, plus long, uh, range for five. So I'm on eights. Uh, three dice. I'm on eights. Looks like one, two. So I'm doing the same thing, also on eights. Uh, so he's got three dice. He can not overheat, so he's not going to bother. All the more reason. <laughs> the executioner as well. Uh, in the executioner as well, yeah. So he's going to get two. Battlemaster, he'll overheat to four dice. Do your job, executioner. Also hitting on eights. You mean your, your distraction card effects? Yeah. So uh, Just one. This little guy. Same target. Might as well just focus fire. Two, though. Uh, and he I is... I from this guy, though. He's Thank base you. skill two. So I, his skill two is incorporated into his cost. Um, so no cover, which means on fours. Six. Two for range. Two for range. That's right, yeah. Dupe phase, he gets applied, this dude just explodes because he gets annihilated by the shadow cat. Or that's right, the super big guy. Yeah, Hoomin's now down to one box left and his engine and, oh sorry, uh, two boxes left and his engine and his weapon is blown off. Heat will go away, well he just doesn't gain the heat. He's plus one minus one, so he would he would not gain it, yeah. This turn, uh, my wasp is almost dead. <laughs> my rifleman's almost dead. Everybody else is doing not terrible. The battle master's taking some damage, or sorry, not the battle master, the battle master's heating. Uh, and the awesome's taking some damage. You've got some damage on the uh, the storm crow. He's almost gone. he's almost gone. He's got three boxes left. Executioner's down to his last seven. Yep. And Damn, just, took one. Yeah, he took one. Just plink damage everywhere else. Initiative. Let's see who's going first. Ten. Nine. It's you. No. So I gotta move first. The battle master just tries to go all down on a seven. So it's don't go hold down. Nope. He hasn't moved though, <laughs> so he just sits there. You. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> it's happening. I'm gonna get you. Oh dear. This guy's plan of walk into middle of my army and kill me. <laughs> well, doves fly by. Uh, let's do the same thing with the awesome. He passes his test to go hold down. He's hold down stationary. Mr. My guy's just gonna walk. Stink so that you can see me. Let me get behind you. Uh, let's have the Warhammer go hold down. He does because he's in the rubble. And advance to the rear. So 24 and swap spots. Woman's gonna move in two. And then test to go hold down as well on a five. Does. <laughs> Shot got's going. Whoop. Bomb against the rear. Strafing. Yeah, You're drifting, sweet. Watch um, those trees between the guys in the building. So. <laughs> fair. We'll go with Durant then. He can see the storm crow. We don't really want to see the vulture. I think we just want to come out so we can't see him, but we can see him. So we'll move two just to come down here and then try and go hold him. And we do goes. He's going to sprint to go 18 instead of 12. So it'll cost him four to get out. Yeah. And he can't shoot this turn. Nope. And then he's going to go 14 more inches and be like, bye. Him, I can't get away from right now. Getting sweet, sweet out of line of fire. Yeah. Oh, I think these guys just turn around and move. Turn around and move. 
Uh, you want initiative, so I shoot first. Well, let's just start easy things over here. Let's uh, see if we can blow up this little shadow cat. So he's, what's his base? Three? Yep. Uh, zero for range. So the Phoenix Hawk has three dice at this range. He's skill four. Goes to seven for your three. Got you once. Wasp does the same thing. Uh, he has two dice. Nothing. Diving, diving. Uh, we'll do the Warhammer. He's going to fire into your Executioner Prime. So the Warhammer is four dice. Uh, he's at skill four. Uh, minus one out of three for having sat still. Or sorry, for going hell down rather. So he's minus one. And plus five. And then plus five. So that's going to be eight. It's on four dice. Whoops. Uh, looks like two. Rifleman's all jacked oh, up. Is that that shot? Oh, that was Rifleman. Now. Yeah. Got it. Oh, that's the Warhammer. Rifleman now. Uh, Rifleman's going to be at skill five because of the heat on him. Okay. And then he's got four dice, three because of the weapon damage. Gain a heat from shooting. I'm shooting this guy? <laughs> I'm shooting the same guy, yeah. Uh, so, ten? Tens. Oh, so close. Not still. So the eight's oh, you, actually, you nine's hit. actually hit. No, no, because you go hull down. As soon as you go hull down, you kind of stationary. You spend the movement to snuggle down. So, I'm... Uh, three goes to five for my heat, goes to four for the stationary from hull down, and then, and then range, range movement cover for five. So nine, no, yeah. So okay. the nine's actually, so actually hits you twice. Good. First one, seven. Uh, I think that's weapons, and nine. pretty sure it was nothing. Nine, I think it's fire. Oh, nine is the nothing. That's the nine is the nothing, and then seven is a MP hit. Uh, this little fella, he's gonna shoot at your direwolf. I mean, there are two of them. They're, they're both in the open, they're both in the 24. Well, which one's damaged already? The Timberwolf took a damage. Yeah, so what's your damage? Bottom Master skills 3 plus 2 for range, plus your TMM of 2. two. So 7. Uh, I sat still. So I'm 3 goes to 2 for sitting still, plus 2 for range is 4, plus your TMM of 3 or 2. 2, so 6. But then 7, 8 because I have a heat on Great. me. 1. Bottom Master can't see anybody. So it's just you seeing the direwolf, I guess. In the open though, so skill two plus, uh, plus two for range, minus one for sitting still is a three, you plus force. your TMM of one, one. so fours. Uh, two dice. Uh, two hits. Go! We got the right. armor. <laughs> this, this armor, sweet. Well, I've done some damage to the Executioner, and that's it, I'm blowing anybody up. Yeah. Back to you. Which one of these is the almost dead one? Nah, the little guy. That's the guy. All right, he is TMM two. Sixes. Take two. Take two. That's it. Uh, he did. Wow. He's just relaxing after his his tough the sprint. Time. Sprint to almost dying. Uh, we're gonna go with Mr. Executioner. He is gonna shoot at injured guy who stood still. Okay. Five shots hitting on four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Nope. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Dumb ones. Can't do a lot about that. <laughs> uh, Timberwolf is going to shoot the hero guy who had the gall to shoot at him. Okay. So eight shots on sevens. Three, four, five. This six, guy? No, Can't, no, this guy. The, oh, so the Dire Wolf. Yeah, okay. Sorry, Dire Wolf. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Sevens. So this plus one dice. Oh, that's a good one. So <laughs> all of them? Seven. <laughs> okay. And then eight. Well, you only have seven hit points left, so he is also dead. <laughs> Bye, Carlisle. You rolled, the, you rolled the opposite of the first roll there. Six, yes. <laughs> That's right. The quadruple one, followed by the, <laughs> the, big six. the exploding. Yep. He's, He's like shoot at the cripple. Uh, the ref one just got you two damage. I don't know. If that's good enough. That's good enough. He's also dead. Bam. And Whoa! <laughs> all right. Well, uh, so all these guys come off and get exploded by the clan max. Rifleman's dead. Hey, if I kill two more, you'll get to, uh, to double activate. <laughs> I know, and he'll be dead too. No, we have four left. Oh, no, you have to have dealt me, don't you? That's yes. right. <laughs> You've killed half my force so far. We're doing great. But I do have some guys who are very close to dead. The Storm Crow, actually, I think are super, super hurt. Yep. Uh, all right, let's see initiative and see who's going first. Seven. Six, it's oh. me having to move first. And my activation order is not looking great this round, so the Warmer's just going to maintain where he is. I mean, I don't have to test. <laughs> ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. <laughs> just gonna try and get within six so you can use all your guns. Yeah. <laughs> 24? Yeah. He hits easier but less dice? Yes. Uh, you'll stay still as well? Yeah, that's yeah. a line of fire the bottom master. That's yeah. fair. Back to me. Back to you. Chunk. 
junk. Well, he's gonna walk over here then, just to be able to see the. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe just slide out, just to see both these guys, but not him. Mm, like that. Gonna move? Not, not liking it, but he's gonna hang out behind those buildings so that those two dorks can't see him. This guy can see him, but hey, waste your shots. See, and then Phoenix Hawk will move, and he'll go eight and four, jumping. Ah, uh, not jumping. Just walk. He just move. Sprint the executioner. Does he just move and accept his fate? No, he's gonna sprint. We're gonna have some denial. Seven and a half. Yeah. Try and keep the model activation denial going. Yeah. Shadow Cat, because I'm all done. Yeah. Mr. Shadow Cat goes 16. So eight. Eight and then eight again. And eight. Just walking around. Yeah. Hi. I'm shooting first because uh, you won the initiative roll. So we'll start with the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, what is your TMM? Two. Uh, so plus two for range, so six total. Uh, sorry, um, for eight total. What is your current status? You are... I got three left. Well, if I hit with all these, then you're dead. So give me a six on that big guy. <laughs> That's good. Uh, okay, <laughs> then I guess we're going to go with the awesome. He's going to try and shoot him. He's base three, yeah? Yeah. So four, five. Uh, down to... So he's three, four, five for range. Down to four for having sat still. And three base, five base because of the heat, so nines. Three shots on nines. I got you once. Heat on him. Sorry, never mind. He doesn't overheat actually. Two more. So two more. Bing bing. Battlemaster's gonna shoot you. He's the one that had some heat on him. Yep. So he's the one that's three, four, five for um, his heat, and then you're eight, nine for the. Sorry. Um, Ten. Yeah, four, five, six, seven for range, eight for cover, nine, ten for your thing, eleven for your your plus right, thing. Uh, nothing. And the warhammer is going to consider the fog. Uh, yeah, Hammer he's got a bunch of damage on him. We're gonna shoot him. The Arwolf. Sorry, they both have two. Never okay. mind. And how much is left? What's who's the closest to breaking through armor? The Timberwolf. The Timberwolf. Okay, we'll shoot the Timberwolf. Four dice, uh, minus one skill for sitting still. So threes. Uh, and then your TMM2. Goes to sevens. So sevens. Got your ones. Oh. Stormcrow. Stormcrow. Shoot the Phoenix Hawk TMM2. So plus two for range. So plus eights. four. Eights. Five times. Nope. nope. Fusioner sprinted, so can't fire. Uh, this little guy. That little guy will shoot the guy who's point blank on him three times. Uh, but I do get hull down and uh, obscured, so plus two. So I'm on uh, sixes. Take three. One, two, three. Plus more. Into um, they're both. They're all plus two. It's yep. irrelevant. Who's got the best shot? <laughs> uh, he has four dice. Him. Okay. Uh, so we're on two sevens. plus four, so sevens. Yep. Plus one dice. Oh, bad roll. Extra die. Nothing. Are you heated up? No, he's just eight. He's just eight. Okay. Oh, that's right, because of his range. Right, he's a murder machine. And now Timberwolf will try, seeing as his friend failed. Sevens Six. again. One. One. Point of armor. In phase. Yep. Uh, he did move, so his heat doesn't come off. He would have come off this turn. Uh, these guys didn't overheat, so they're fine, and it's a new turn. Nine. Can't do anything with that. Eight. I'm gonna go first, and I think we'll just go with the battle master. And he's just gonna try and go hold down, I guess. Nope. But he didn't move. Harper. Stepping away. Harper. Warhammer's gonna go. Hmm. Actually, the awesome's gonna go. 16, so we're gonna back up. Just put our bum to the board. Mark 8, plus 2. Rocking the Battle Master. Sweet. Warhammer's gonna go. He'll move his two to go to the cover. And then another. Who's eight? Uh, four, yeah. So he's gonna go back to here. Everybody trying to cover each other at this point. He's gonna just scurry around this building, or this, this terrain here, going 16. Facing backwards. Just you. You're gonna go 12, going eight. 
and then four more over here. In the middle like that. You sure? I'm looking at you. He'll uh, try and hold down on a seven. Does he have the movement to do it? How far did you move? Five. So you have five movement, you need four to spend. How far did you move? Like an inch. Oh, it's moving an inch. I inch couldn't move enough. Up. Like, I wasn't moving enough to get my dodge, yep, so got I'm it. like, See? duck. And then we just have Mr. Stormcrow, who's living his best life, and I think uh, he wants to move like this. I open up the door to him shooting me, so we'll just go all in and be like, whatever. <laughs> go. Shoot first. How much does he have left? Two. And he? Three. Hmm. Well, no one else can see over there except the Battlemaster. Can Master can see him, but can't see either of these. He can see both of these. Yeah, because you can see yourself, but not me. Yeah, you can see the Storm Crow, but we can also see the Mad Cat. So I think we're just going to shoot the Awesome over here. Two or a one, two. Okay, plus two for range is four. Base three for sevens. One sevens. Uh, three. One, two. Three, that's right. What's going on him finally? Master does have a rear gun. He only fire one, but he'll fire one uh, into you. Sure. And then I could do two in another direction if I could see somebody. Nobody else can see anywhere, so just fires one dice into the rear. You're zero range though. Uh, plus but I, but plus uh, three plus heat of five. Plus so two. Uh, plus your two base. So that's so uh, seven. Mm -hmm. Nope. Handy to try. Uh, oh no! I did hit with a six. I didn't move. I'm stationary. So minus one to hit. Oh, that's damage. Uh, and then over here, he's got two. He's got two. Three and two. Mm. You all hit on th fives. Yes. Oh, it was. I'm gonna go for him on fives. See Three. if I can do it. Oh yeah. Dead. Dead. And the warhammer, I guess, shoots over here. Can't shoot to the rear. I have four dice. I can shoot the Darwolf. He's a plus two, plus three, plus four, five on eight. He's only one for his dodge. So in sevens then, it's because I'm on base four. So four, five for cover, yeah, six, eight. and then eight. Yeah. Four dice on eights. See if we can hit you. Hey, one, two, three. three. Back to you. So we managed to get one of you. All right, Stormcrow. Die the hero. <laughs> How well do you dodge? Uh, you dodge on two. So, sixes. Do it. Wait, can you overheat? Yes. Can I overheat twice? Only for your value, whatever your value is. Blam, blam. Two more dice. I'm dead anyway. Yep. And he rolled a one. Uh, I needed sixes though, so one, two. Three. Three. Three damage. Clay is going to go. He's going to shoot him as well. Um, he is four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, because he didn't move. Sevens. Uh, one. Oh, going left. Timberwolf's gonna go. Shoot that guy in the back. Battle Master, zero range. Uh, so it's just threes on seven shots. <laughs> Do it. Seven. Seven, you get through three points of my structure. So three critical rolls. Something. Three. Something. So that's weapons. Weapons again. And oh no, the seven is movement. Oh, so legs, MP. legs, and number three. Yep. It's gonna go. We need to try and finish this guy. So, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. three? Uh, I only have three left, so I'm done. Okay. Shoot that guy on Shoot the sevens. Man. Do it. Because uh, I'm three, four, five for range, six cover, seven, because you walked around. You got it, team on one. Eight shots. So you take seven. Seven? Eight. I've only got seven boxes left, so he's also done. He's by, by, and he's by. Well, things aren't looking good for the Inner Sphere, folks. Two of the, uh, of the Great Legion, Legion left, yep. And you have to activate two for one. Let's see the initiative. Ten. Ten. It's you. So I have to activate first, but then you activate two. He goes to zero because he sat still. We, we marked the wrong damage. I was marking the damage on the Battlemaster on the Awesome. So uh, the seven armor damage he just did to him only took his armor down to one. Didn't actually do any um, critical hits. <laughs> You're pretty easy to kill. <laughs> Uh, you're in trouble though, you need to go eight. So I think, but you're also pretty jacked up at this point too, aren't you? He's only got one more armor. Yeah, so I think we go six with him. And just start walking into the middle. Perp like that. Oh, we go the other way. How fast is the Darwolf? Only six, right? Yes. Yeah, I think we just make it so we're fighting one of these guys at a time. Just gonna go into there. Is the Star Set only gives you one card for the Battlemaster and the Awesome, like you're having to flip it. The Executioner. I'm still alive. 
Uh, you gotta move one more. Yes. And then this little fella, he can move 16 still. So you can go eight and eight and just hide it behind here. We're gonna see the battle master. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna walk eight this way. Yeah, so now I can't see him. Yeah, and just go all like that. <laughs> Are you on Timberwolf? Uh, my major back. That's right. I end up with both of them somehow. Yeah, oh, that's his tradition. Wow. These keep getting skewed. One last hurrah from Cat before it dies. Well, he's going just straight in. <laughs> He'll walk to a muscle. Here. Okay. So you can only see one. Um, he can go 10. He can just walk behind this, actually. That's what he's going to do. Go Sit eight, on And then two. And be like, hey. What's up, y'all? <laughs> All right. Super sweet. Well, I have to shoot first because I lost the initiative. So I guess we do the battle master first. Shoot him though, because he's the most damaged. So I need sevens because his heat's no longer back. Uh, do I overheat now? Or do I just shoot on three? How much damage do you have left? Five. I can't kill you then. But you're on structure, right? So I do I have, have chance. one more armor. And that's you have one more armor than structure. And I'm on three, four, five for range, six, seven. Or I'm on sixes against the Timberwolf. I have one armor left. I want, I want to try and kill him because he has one armor left before I start beating the super the, into the superstructure. So, yeah, I think we overheat into him. Four dice. Try and do this. Yeah. Let's see if we can get seven. him. Uh, it is sevens because you're obscured behind the other mech. Oh, it's eights then, isn't it? For BS3? Uh, on BS3? I mean, it's irrelevant. It's still two hits no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, so no, it's no, three, no. four, five. Six, seven for movement plus range. And then if mech's obscure, it's eights. Eights, yeah. That's one one structure damage. Yep. Uh, and what is it for structure damage? Give me that box cars. Five is the nothing, I think. Pointing. <laughs> Alright, so it's into the awesome. Uh, he cannot see much. He doesn't have indirect fire, but he can shoot three dice at long range. Skill three, what's the executioner got? He's down to just structure, isn't he? Yeah, three All boxes right. left. Three boxes left. I could kill you. So I am three, seven for range, eight for cover. Nine We're walking around. Sweet. I got three decks. Give me a ten. Another one. Shooting back. Go executioner. I think I'm on tens as well. Okay. <laughs> Maybe elevens even. Are you plus one or plus two? I'm plus one. So eight, nine, ten. Tens. Ah. Take two. Blech. One on the left. One to direwolf into man in the open that's facing him. The uh, battle master. So I'm on sixes. Plus I'm two, one. Plus one. Yeah, plus two plus one. Six is on eight dice. One, two. 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 Uh, he's one superstructure hit. Four. four. That is a something. I think that's movement. Engine or movement? Might be far control. Control. So I'm yeah. plus harder to hit. Gross. Is it harder now because you're skimming each other? So he is on sevens. Yeah. Oh, one. One. All right, one more superstructure hit. What happens? Six. Six. That's weapons. weapon damage. Let's turn. Oh, things aren't looking great, but I'm still alive. I'm still in this. Six. Six. Seven for me. So you gotta move two to my one. I'm gonna just <laughs> haul down. Maybe. Okay. Sit still. Seven. Yeah. Hold down. Doesn't move. And then small friend. Do you just run? Deny him the kill. Go eight. Yeah. Peace. They visible? Just see. You know, maybe something will happen. Right, well, you are minus two movement right now because of your heat that you have on you. So you're going to, I think, just sit still. How much did the, the direwolf have left? Ten. Ten. Just keep on, keep the <laughs> higher ground. Gonna go six. Walk back. You sell your life dearly. How far do they move? Six and ten. I don't even get my back arc, so we're just gonna sit still. For the, we, our sensors got damaged, we're gonna still try and offset that. Back to you. Again? We're gonna also stand here and witness. Okay. He'll stand still, and uh, Timber... Timber Wolf, do you want to stand still or do you want to do you want to be relevant? You gotta move a bunch though, if you wanna, if you wanna be good. And you got two of your best hitters right now that are super banged up. Both the uh, uh, Timber Wolf and the um, Executioner are on their last legs. Mm -hmm. So things are things are looking dicey, and he can barely move <laughs> right now. He's doing he's doing great. Okay, uh, we'll walk ten and end up over here. 
Uh, so, Darwolf, you just dig it in? He's just going to stare that guy down. All right, well, <laughs> let's go get in the cover. Get obscured. Uh, I want initiative, so you shoot first. That's right. Darwolf versus man. Battle master, that's right. I'm zero. I'm plus, plus one. two for range. Who's? Goes to fours. <laughs> Do it. Fours. I'm, I'm most likely dead. I have four bo five boxes left. Dead. It's on fours. Okay, yeah. This when one. this is all over, Timberwolf, over here. Um, seven shots on sevens. Yep. Because plus four, right? Uh, plus two, one, plus two, yeah. yeah. One, two, two. Okay, two under the awesome, which is one structure hit, one superstructure hit. Box charm. Six is weapons. Weapons, yep. Bombin with the uh, executioner into. Uh, the guy who's alive. Yep, that's uh, fair. Eight shots, or sorry. Four goes to eight, nine, ten goes to nine. Okay. Five on nines. Sorry, four on nines. Nothing. Nice. <laughs> he's he's smoking though. He's got two boxes left. Three. Three. Yeah. Well, let's get in the war. Uh, Battle master's gonna. We are just outside of six. So I guess we just fire. Uh, you've got your movement of one. No, sorry, two. Uh, three for obscured. Four, five for range, six, seven uh, for okay. my damage. So 10 and then minus one because I didn't move, so nines. And then a minus one weapon, so I've only got. Medium? Medium, sorry. <laughs> 11's act, uh, 12's actually because I'm heated right now, but I'll heat again uh, for an extra die and to offset my minus one weapon dice. So I'm so three dice? 11's. On 11's. It's a chance. Three dice on 11's. Have to do three. Three. Roll a six and the other numbers. Oh, we're still nothing. He'll try and put, uh, he's got two left. Three. Three left. And I'll go over here. Plus two, and plus one, plus two. So he's three. Eight. Yeah, five for your move at TMM. Six, seven, eight. Nothing. Battle Master's down. It's the last dance of the awesome. All right, initiative. Six. Four. Oh, I win initiative. You win initiative. Where does he go? <laughs> Sweet. Uh, bum to the world. Okay. <laughs> really get to me. I might as well just dig in. Yeah, I might as well just dig in. I'm not even gonna try and get to you. <laughs> dig in. Nope. Nope. Stationary. Sweet. Wolf comes to the other side. Dun 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 dun. Da. <laughs> Sixteen. You just watch. Yeah. Bottom everyone, everyone's smoking yeah, racks. Dig in again. No, uh, you stay dig. You stay dug in. You're the best. Player. Yeah. You stay dug in until you move again. He is the hardest to hit, but the weakest to live. He's got three left still? Cause I, yeah. I didn't hit him at all, did I? No, you didn't. Oh. And he's got... Ten. Ten, because he's got lots of armor left. Also mm, three. Let's go over here. Mm -hmm. The big guy, he's the most dangerous, so it's... Second most dangerous. Three, because he still hasn't taken any weapon hits, I don't think. Weapon hit last turn. So he's down to two. Uh, which means skill three, uh, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Eight. Nothing. So you finish me off? Fit on his grave, Mad Cat. <laughs> um, sevens. One, one, two, two three, three, four, five. five. I have five left. Conveniently enough, and that kills me. <laughs> the awesome goes down, and the Climax have walked across the table successfully. Although, to be fair, there's what? Two, three, two, two, three. And this guy's in, in good shape, but. Unfortunately, I just couldn't seal. I, there was the not being able to quite seal the deal on this last three that continued to give you the activation control. And I you had one round where you knocked out I, two. I spend a lot of turns hiding. Like you I, do? I, yeah, I yeah. run and try and keep my guys alive. And that, I think that was the right call. Backing off with the vulture, like regrouping with the vulture in them and just switching over to the, the two heavy armor guys being your, your main line he of came up, probably with that. Alpha did a bunch of hits, fell back, and then he did two damage, which is like part of the thing that killed you in that's the it end. yeah absolutely yeah, it was a, a nice plink from long range which was pretty cool i think he actually is if you look at his role he might actually be a sniper there's one version that's a the skirmisher there's one version of him i think that's a sniper the other version is yeah. the sniper version that's yeah. right yeah there actually is one where he just wants to kind of sit still and be in cover this guy's actually a sniper as well so he kind of filled his role the battle master kind of got wasted just by you outmaneuvering me over here and me losing this guy to kind of flank with i was happy with the wasp and the the um Phoenix Hawk, though, they took on the Locust and the, the Storm, Storm Crow and did pretty good. We managed Storm to kill the Storm Crow. Really he was really good. He, he was a champion throughout the course of the game. Yeah. Um, and you might notice we didn't overheat as much during this game either. I think I only overheated once and you overheated when you were going to die. Yeah. Uh, because it does affect your TNs and your movement quite a bit. So having lots of base dice on the Clan Max makes up for the fact that you had... Knowing that I lose it when I 
stand still, he probably should have been overheating at the end. And sniping, that's right. And then just sit still and sniper. That's right. Back, get yeah, back. yeah, exactly. It refunds. So it's just still some learning curve stuff. And obviously, I'm sure we've gotten some things wrong. So tell us in the comments. So we're going to the game uh, for the Clan Wolf. Another slaughter fast, wiping out the um, uh, the Inner Sphere Max and pushing back House Steiner with their mercenary allies. Uh, and unfortunately, the Great Death Legion, although they fought to the last man, wasn't able to turn the tide. So uh, we'll see you again in two weeks from the game. We're going to try out Capture the Flag, the next mission. I think we're going to go back to the handfuls of 2d6 rolls. Reason being, we felt like while this was a better in-between um, as far as like the all or nothing respects to the usual damage, where you make one skill check and apply all the damage to a mech, it also made for less crits and it was less kind of like in the middle as far as like hit resolution. Because if this pilot dice rang high, you tended to get all your hits. And if it rang low, you tended to get either nothing or even in the realm of impossibility for all to one. So we're going to go back to the handful of 2d6 rolls, I think, instead of the like for variable damage, as opposed to the one pilot die. It was faster to resolve, but it didn't give us the feeling of multiple weapon systems kind of like plowing down from the max, which were. We liked from the first game, so we're gonna go back to that one. Uh, that being said, like your um, weapon heat obviously causing a lot more issues and having to skill check for hull down, making some uh, different changes to the game there as well. So we'll see you in two weeks for more Battletech. Till then, I'm Ash. Have a good one. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to so get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.